told you, but you doubted me. Now, have you seen the truth to yourself? You have seen it. That Angela girl is evil. She was the one behind that very misfortune you went through. Hmm. I can't believe this. Angela. You still can't believe it. <laughs> okay, continue doubting it until she sends you down six feet. Such a wicked human being. Hmm, I will make sure she doesn't go unpunished. She can't mess up my son's life and go scot free. I will surely deal with her. I have never been this heartbroken. Why would Angela do this to me? What wrong did I do to deserve such punishment? Tony, stop shedding all these unnecessary tears and man up. I know how bad it is to be betrayed by someone who wants love and truly dearly. My son, such is life. That is why we shouldn't trust anyone. Will I ever love again? Of course you will. No, mom. I don't think I'll ever try this again. Nothing good comes out of it except pains that breaks the soul. Tony, please take heart. You don't have to keep weeping and brooding over this. You have to brace up, pick up your pieces and forge ahead. This is not the end of life. Someday, God will send you a good woman who would love you genuinely and you will never hurt your feelings nor break your heart. Hmm. I doubt if such women exist. Mom, how many women have I dated so far? that left my life worse than they met it. Mom, I have dated five women and none of them left without hurting my soul. Mom, I am done with women. Yes, I am. If Angela could do this to me, I don't think there is any perfect one out there because I thought she was the perfection I have longed for, but I was wrong. Tony, enough of those tears. It's okay. Don't worry. I'll take up this battle for you. I can't watch my son weeping all day because of one brat somewhere. I will teach both she and Natalia lessons they will never forget in a hurry. Evil beings. Tony, please, can you hear me out for the last time? Angela, please leave my house. There is nothing I want to hear from you. You are a betrayer. Tony, please, I can explain. I beg you, forgive me. There is nothing there to explain here. I forgive you. Just go and never come looking for me. Allow me to mourn in peace. Tony, I thought you were dead. Believe me. I... I... Shut up, liar. You thought I was dead because you paid your village people to kill me, isn't it? No, no, it's not true. I didn't pay anybody. I don't even know who those men were. They also kidnapped me as well. I came back looking for you. Then your uncle told me you died. Lies. Angela, you connived with my uncle to destroy me and extort money from my mom. Angela, you will surely reap all what you have sown. You are such a wicked ingrate. I never knew you were this way. You appeared so harmless to the extent that I trusted you with my life and entrusted my life to you. Look at where you left me today, in a ditch. You broke me without repair. God will judge you. Angela, God will judge you. You this girl again? What are you doing here? Tony, what happened? Why are you crying? Nothing, mom. I'm fine. Tony, you are not fine. Come back here and tell me what is going on here. Young lady, what did you do to my son? I didn't do anything, ma. I only came to apologize, nothing else. You came here to apologize. You are a winch. Now listen, I don't want to see you come close to my son again. Keep your apology. Tony don't need it. He's done with you. Now take your silly feet out of here before I release my dogs from chain to devour you. Vamos now. Angela, stay away from my son. If you love your life, stay away from him unless I will kill you. Please, ma, don't kill me. I have heard you. I will stay away from him. I am sorry. Tell Tony that I am very sorry. Sorry for yourself. Keep your sorry. He doesn't need it. Listen, he's already engaged to another lady and the both of them would be wedding soon. You don't stand a chance in my son's life anymore. He hates you now, so leave him alone. Dorothy, what are you doing in my house? Haven't I told you to stop coming here to harass my woman? Judas Iscariot, good that you are here. Now listen, you and your stolen woman, two of you should stay away from my son. Who is your son? Who is your son? Help. I better get out of my house before I force you out of here. Natanya, if you feel T hands dare touch me, I'll make sure you live to regret this day. Threat Backwards and bite, Dorothy. Leave my house now. What am I even doing here? Is this thing a house? I better let me turn this threat before they sell me out. I am so disappointed in you. You don't deserve to be called an uncle. You are a big betrayer. You betrayed your own brother's son. It is a big shame on you. You even plotted my destruction, but my God didn't allow you to succeed in that. Uncle Nat, the earth on which you and I tread will judge you for this evil you did to me. Young man, are you done speaking? 
I will never be done until justice is served. Karma is coming for you. Don't be a fool, Anthony. You can't eat your cake and have it back. The worst mistake a man will make in life is not realizing who his true enemy is when the person is alive. Tony, I'm not your enemy. Oh no, you are. <laughs> okay, be it as you said. I am your enemy. And mind you, enemies are to be avoided. I will advise you to avoid me henceforth. Avoid or not, Mr. Nat, you can't do me nothing. I am not scared of you. You have done your worst already. Oh no, you haven't seen my worst yet. Just avoid me so you won't get to see it. It baffles me how an elderly man of your age chooses to be this evil and unrepentant. My mom told me, but I never believed it until now. Trust me, you will surely reap this someday. What am I reaping? Maybe the reward of helping a poor homeless young lady and giving her my home. You thought you were dead and gone for good. I decided to take care of her. You should be thanking me with gifts now that you are back and not throwing all these tantrums here. You know what? You are the worst uncle ever. The worst human being ever. Go ahead and continue with her. She's already your accomplice. I don't know how much you paid her to betray me, but it's fine. You both will reap your evil deeds, I bet you. Charlie, I was listening to a news station today and guess what I saw? What did you see? Charlie, guess what? Wait till I want guess. Madam, say what happened. I need to like this kind of suspense. Charlie, you and her have been declared wanted by the police. Hmm, calm down, Joe. Is that why you are panicking? Hmm, you wish to panic. I suggest we just jet out of this country immediately. Travel abroad requires a lot of money. We don't get that kind of money. Charlie, if we mean this, we'll hustle hard for the money and it will come. Don't be small. Forget that thing. If we both mean and we go get the money, if I did lucky, catch one better maga with the release money. We don't run the abroad matter already. Oh yeah now, let's start making plans towards it. Sure. Let's begin with immediate effect. We have to leave this country. This one way them don't they declare us wanted. I beg you, relax Joe, now today. Hi Tony, can I have a word with you please, I beg you. Angela, what are you doing here? I thought I warned you never to come looking for me again. Tony, you know this isn't possible. I miss you, Tony. I can't believe we are now strangers. You miss me? Are you for real? Like how? Cause what I am seeing here is heavily pregnant lady who is pregnant for a man old enough to be her father. Angela, you are a disappointment. I don't know you are this cheap and wayward. No, I am not. Don't see me that way. I am not, Tony. So what are you? I am a poor helpless orphan who lives a life full of pains and rejection. Story. You can't deceive me with those quoted lies. You dealt with me. You left my life in pieces. I know I have hurt you greatly, but please forgive me. Forgive you for which sin in particular? Is it the one you sent assassins to kill me in your village? Or the one you sent people to kidnap me in order to extort money from my mother? Or now that you are heavily pregnant, for my own uncle, I introduce you to... Angela, you have shattered my heart. No need to apologize. Just go ahead and enjoy the money you extorted from my mom. You and that old fool called Nathaniel. Both of you should continue with your miscreants and let my mother and I be. I don't know how to make you believe this, Tony, but I have no hands in what happened to you. I didn't send any assassin to kill you. I didn't take any money from your mother. So what about the pregnancy? Didn't you get pregnant for my uncle as well? Why didn't you add that? Liar. Listen, I was on my way to somewhere important. If you don't mind, please excuse me. Angela, where are you coming back from? I... I went to see someone. Who was that? Um, a friend. Who is that friend? Doesn't he or she has an identity? Yes, um, a church friend. How dare you lie to me? Mr. Nas, why are you beating me again? What have I done this time around? You don't know what you have done? Angela, where did you go to? Answer me! I didn't go anywhere, I just went to see a friend. Okay, what's the name of the friend you went to see? Um, um... You see? Liar! You can't even mention the person's name. Now listen, Angel, you have to choose between Anthony and I. It's either me or Anthony. The next time I see you going to look for him again, I'll have to throw you out of this house. Rubbish! Mom, I have to confront that Nathaniel and warn him never to try rubbish with you. No, I won't take this. How could he insult you and walk out of this house? Who does he think he is? No, Mom, I need to go to his place and give him a serious warning. Relax, Anthony. The battle hasn't gotten to this. Don't worry. Leave that to me. Trust your mom. I can handle them well. You see? Gosh, I wish you never came back to witness all this shit. I wish I had remained there in Canada. I told you, but you insisted on returning to homeland. Now, another drama has begun. We are not even safe being here. Hope they won't try to harm us. 
They should dare us such again. This time around, I'm ready for whichever way they want it. They extorted money from us and still kept humiliating us. They have done their worst already and I should get ready to see my own anger. Tony, please calm down. I don't want you to take this aggressively. You know you are the apple of my eyes. I don't want anything to harm me. Just leave this two to me. I will avenge for us. Trust me. To go warn him. Not to ever try to humiliate my mother again. Or else. Or else. Calm down, Tony. The Nathaniel you are talking about has always been a nasty and naughty man. It was the same way he was treating your father when he was still alive. He used to talk to your father so rudely. No one has ever taught him a lesson and I will do that. Linda, we have to leave this town immediately. Make day break now. Why are we going to do this night? See this baby? It be like so you don't know what's in the soap. What's in the soap? Sars, they, they come here this night. Uh-uh. Who gave you this kind of information? This night? Yeah, so I just got a call from one of their men, who is my close friend. He was the one who informed me about the operation here tonight. I don't understand. Then send them made them come arrest us. Yes, now. What did I tell you the other day? I told you that they have declared us wanted. Hmm. Yeah, now. Let's pack and quickly leave here. Then go sell our property not too much. Let's hurry up come out for here. I've got a taxi driver. He's on his way coming. Alright, you do well. Let's go pack immediately. Benji, I don't understand the kind of nonsense that man is teaching us. I suggest we report him to the principal. I be that man is not qualified to be our teacher at all. He no no book at all. Now because Jumbu be my guy, that's why they still respect him. Even the son Jumbu is not happy with his father. Jumbu not they feel in Papa vibe at all. Hey Jumbu, how are you today? I beg, make gonna leave me, Joe. I'm not fine. Ah, what do you make you not fine? Won't you all speak up so that the principal will change your CRK teacher? Uh uh, even you, Jumbu, no be your papa. You follow for this protest. Why won't I protest? Don't I want a better and sound education? Tony, there is something I want to discuss with you. Alright, I'm all ears. Good. Tony, down that we are back in Nigeria and would be staying here for some time, I suggest you get yourself a woman to help you heal from the heartbreak you are struggling with. A woman in your life would help keep Angela away from you entirely. Hmm. You are right, mom. But not anytime soon. Really? Why? Mom, I'm not ready to move into any other relationship. For now, I'm still healing. I know. Same reason why you need a good and lovely woman whose love would accelerate the healing of your broken heart. Hmm. Not so easy as you have said it. For now, I have chosen to stay away from women. I need to pick up my pieces and get my life together. I need to find that inner peace. No, son. You are making the wrong decision. All women are not traitors. I don't want you to stereotype all women just because of what few did to you. Women are lovable beings. You will surely fall in love with the right one someday. Hmm. So, is that what I'm going to keep doing? See when, mom. Please, let's just suspend this discussion for now. I want to visit a friend this morning. I will be back later in the day. Tony, you know it's rude to walk out on your mother. No, I'm not. I just want to see a friend in a few hours. I'll be right back. We are always here together. We can discuss this some other time. For now, I'm not in the mood for such discussion. Hmm, Tony, Tony, you have to listen to my advice. Stop being difficult. I am not, mom. I will listen to your advice. Please, I have to go now. See you soon. Love you, mom. Love you too. Don't waste much time, dear. Oh my gosh, Pascal, you blew my mind. Best gift ever. <laughs> you deserve more of such mind-blowing gifts, sweetie. You are an angel. You are my own guardian angel. Oh, I'm blushing. Oh, thanks, dearest. You are welcome, sweetie. You are the best friend life has given to me. People like you are very rare. Thanks for being a selfless friend. I'm still using the word friend. I should be using the word be instead. Oh my goodness. I'm seriously blushing. Oh, you've made my day. Thanks, boo. Wow, boo. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop tickling my fancy Pascal. You're so sweet and humble. Wow, she called me sweet. I'm definitely going to have romantic dreams tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, my ribs. You're the sweetest boo. I'm missing you, dear. I can't wait to see you. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be back soon. I miss you too, sweetie. Thanks for being by me and saving me from destruction. I'll never forget your sacrifice for the rest of my life. One love, baby. <laughs> Love you endlessly, boo. Angela, how much will I pay you to just go far away and forget about my son? Hmm, I don't need anything from you. I am not a good digger as you have tagged me. 
I may come from a poor background, but that doesn't mean that I lack integrity. I am a woman of integrity and I don't compromise my values. Didn't know you are this sound. Anyway, you are sound but dumb. You said you are a woman of integrity. Can I ask you a question? Does a woman of integrity get pregnancy out of wedlock? Does a woman of integrity live under the roof of a married man who is old enough to be her father? Does a woman of integrity betray her boyfriend and settle with his own uncle? Please answer these simple questions. I am not perfect. I know that I have disappointed your son and I did something shameful. But one thing you should know is that I am human and I am not perfect. Getting pregnant for his uncle wasn't intentional, believe me. Lies from the pit of hell. It wasn't intentional and you both are still living under the same roof. Tony even caught you sitting right on his lap that very day and you are telling me it wasn't intentional. Listen, I don't need any persuasion from you. All I want is for you to stay away from my son, period. I will try. Honestly, it isn't easy to forget my heart drop just like that. I still love him, but I won't bother him anymore. Whether he forgives me or not, I will always keep loving him. No, you are not even permitted to love him. Stop loving him and forget about him. But madam, what wrong have I done to you that made you hate me this much? Yes, I hate you. I hate you because you knew you were no match with my son and you kept forcing yourself on him. You even brought enmity into my family. I'm glad you are finally out of his life. Good riddance, slump girl. I have never been this humiliated like this. God, why me? Charlie, I won't die. I won't die. No, my head don't scatter. What thing happened? Why your head is scatter? Charlie Pascal bought the latest Mercedes Benz for Diana. Now lie. Tell me this is a joke. For where you see the car? She posted it on her Facebook page. Yesterday was her birthday. Pascal first posted her pictures on his page and penned down a lovely happy birthday message to her. Eh? You don't mean it. Hmm. I was still shocked by the message I saw only for me to open my Facebook page this morning and I saw Diana's post where she wrote, and I quote, My new ride. I woke up today to the wonderful gifts from the absolute love of my life, Pascal Robert. Oh my goodness. It all seems like a dream. I am now a Benz owner. Haters, it's time for you to fuck off. In short, come closer and lick my feet because we know be me. Eh? What is Diana right? Hey, hey, Charlie. I have not seen it all. So who are the haters where she the para for? Not me now. Make sure no worry. I'm coming for her. She can never rip where I labeled. Now wow, this gender, I feel now. Imagine. A girl when we hire just to come play game for us. Now she be the main benefactory now. They cash out day and night. Man, this life no balance at all. Tony, can you hear me out, please? Even if it is just a second, I beg you. Hmm, hear you out. What do you want to explain apart from lies? Tony, please just give me a chance to speak. Please, I beg you. Okay, go ahead and say whatever you have to say. You have just two minutes to do so. Okay, thanks. Tony, I have let you down. I know I have really broken your heart. I know. I am even ashamed of myself, but the truth is this. When I came to the city and was told that you were no more, I decided to seek refuge in Uncle Nat's house. So what happened? Go straight to the point. I don't want to waste any of my time. Please be patient with me. I'm rounding up. He raped me during that period and that was how I became pregnant. I didn't even know I was pregnant. It was after I left that I realized that I was pregnant. Considering the fact that I have no one to cater for my needs, I decided to go back and be with him till I give birth to this child. Okay, I'm listening. Believe me, this is my whole truth. We are not married, neither were we lovers. This is just how it happened. Please forgive me so that everyone can forgive me too. As for the assassin you accused me of hiring, I know nothing about that, including the money your mom paid to the kidnappers. Please accept my apology and forgive me, Anthony. Sorry to disappoint you. I will never believe this cock and bull story. Excuse me, please. 